guitar tutorial for Let Go by BTS. I'll show you guys how I play this on my acoustic cover and I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to see that video first. Just to let you know this might not be exactly the same as with my acoustic cover but I'll just give you guys the chords and show you a general strumming pattern that you can use for this song. So I'll show you guys how to play the chords first and the chords are E, B, C sharp minor, and A for E put your pointer finger on the first fret on the G string and your middle finger and ring finger on the second fret A and D strings next is B Put your pointer finger on the 2nd fret A string and the rest of your fingers on the 4th fret on the D, G, and B strings, like this. After that is C sharp minor. Put your pointer finger on the 4th fret on the A string. Your ring finger and pinky are on the 6th fret on the D and G strings. And put your middle finger on the 5th fret on B string. And you're also borrowing your pointer finger so that you play the 4th fret on the bottom E string as well. So this one. And the whole chord is like this. And the last chord is A. Put your pointer finger on the 2nd fret on D string. Middle finger on the 2nd fret G string. And ring finger on 2nd fret B string. So for the first part of the song, I played it like this. So the first chord is E, and you're going to pluck the three bottom strings upwards. So I just use my ring finger, and you're going to pluck it like this. So upwards, and then pluck the top E string downwards with your thumb. And you repeat that four times like this. And then you go to the B chord. And this time we're going to pluck the B, G, and D strings up. So you're going to skip the bottom E string. And you're going to pluck it like this. And this time, pluck down the A string. And again, you play that four times. And then you go to C sharp minor. And you're going to pluck the same strings as with the B chord. So like this. And then the A chord. So same thing with the B chord and C sharp minor chord. You're going to pluck B, G, and D strings upwards. And the A string down. And you repeat that whole sequence twice.
gonna show you guys the strumming pattern and it's basically the same throughout the whole song so you play the same chords and the strumming pattern is down down up up down 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 up so i'll play it for you guys for e down down up up down 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 up and then b down down up up down 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 up c sharp minor same thing down down up up down 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 up and a down down up up down 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 up and to play it more smoothly it should sound like this basically the strumming pattern for the whole song. So after the first verse and the first rap part, the song goes back to what I guess is the free chorus. And it's basically what I showed you in the first part. And you can play it the same way like I showed before, like this. I'm just mentioning this because on my cover, I had a piano keyboard part. So when I played this part on the guitar, I just strum each chord three times downward like this. So it's up to you if you want to pluck this part like what I showed you in the beginning or if you just want to strum it this time. After that part, it goes to chorus and the third verse and it's all the same thing, same chords and same strumming patterns. And now I'm going to show you guys how to play the bridge. So for the bridge, it's the same chords and you strum each chord three times downwards like this. And you repeat that, but on the second time, you're going to add an extra A chord. So like this. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you with learning this song on the guitar. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you for watching. Bye.